and that is 22 minutes of gameplay from Christ Tales. Um, we've not talked about this one in a while. It is still said to come out sometime this year in 2020. We do not have a firm or even season of release for it yet. Hopefully that is changed at some point. Uh, the game is still scheduled to come out for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, PC via Steam, and Stadia as well. So here's an overview of this footage in particular. Uh, the footage finds protagonist Christbell setting out from the bursting harbor of St. Clarity to solve a mysterious, oh, excuse me, mysterious disappearance. By inquiring with neighboring townsfolk and using her incredible power to visit the past, Christ Bell discovers a lead which guides her towards a string of exciting battles and a grim realization. See how Christ Bell's time shifting skill aids her quest and answers and lends an upper hand in combat by watching the gameplay. That right there, that is everything of why I'm excited for this game. You throw in that it's turn based. You turn you throw in the very appealing visuals in my opinion. And with this time hook of seeing all three times at the same time on the screen, past on the left, present in the middle, future on the right, and those abilities, it sounds really cool. I want to check it out so much. It is um, a indie love letter to classic JRPGs. So... It has all my intention. I want to check it out so much, and hopefully we'll get a release date for it sometime soon. What is it, Chris Bell? I can see Sophia and Enzo in the past, but I can't quite hear what they're saying. Perhaps I can take a closer look. Sophia, where are you off to? Do you mind if I tag along? Oh, Enzo! I'm so sorry, but we're running down to Floodside. I'm going to meet with that new workers' committee. They elected a representative. Oh, really? Why would you give them legitimacy by doing that? They only have power if we pay attention to them. Enzo, I just don't think it's that simple.
Please, everybody. Wait a second. Wait. Let's just listen for a minute. It's time for the hands that built this town to take a share of its riches. No more low pay for dangerous work. No more breaking our backs without a chance to even see a doctor. No more wearing rags and living in hovels. They say they need more red crystal for the war. But what does it matter to us who rules in Crystallis if we just suffer and die like animals here? Your father has a rather deft way with words, wouldn't you say? I don't know that words matter if you don't have the power to back them up. But he's right. Mr. Armando is right. I've seen the future, and I know that this whole district will be permanently flooded, and everyone will be gone. You're one of those time mages who came with my son, aren't you? Can you really see our future? It is true! I can see that this whole district will be flooded permanently. But I also learned that nothing is inevitable. I'm sure you can stop it. Well, whatever you claim to see in the future, I can see the present. And I know that they will try to crush us. But we will not let them! No more mysterious disappearances on the mountain. Let them try to replace us with automatons. They will fail! The wealth of St. Clarity will belong to those who work for it. You give a rousing speech, sir. I speak the truth. That's all any of us can do. Hey, Dad. Oh, Christopher. I'm glad to see you're still around. You used to work on the mountain back when they still used hand tools? Huh. Straight down to business, I see. You were like, what, a supervisor, right? Yes, I was one of the few who knew how to read. So do you have any old documents from back then? Old repair guides and stuff? Well, what are you up to, exactly? We're trying to help. Really. All right, then. They're in the boxes beside the house. But you should know, a lot of them got damaged a few years back. I should have gotten rid of them a long time ago. the blueprints Audrey was talking about. Yesterday. Oh, 
I didn't think about this part. Let me guess. There's another request somewhere in that statement. Ah, oh, well. Guilty as charged. If I'm going to rebuild this, I'm going to need a power cell. things considered, I think I'm well enough. Just have to move a bit faster than I'm fit to. Those wolves were unusually aggressive. I just wanted to visit the memorial. All of them that died during the fighting, we didn't have a place for them, so they put them in an old clearing up there. Anyways, my sister is there. We shouldn't have nothing to do with the fighting, but we still took her. Well, you could help me gather flowers for the memorial. Five or so different kinds should do good. Yeah, back in the day, we used to plant brightly colored flowers everywhere around town. But now, they're nowhere to be seen. Well, maybe some older folks in town still have them. You could ask around. soil here in small amounts. Plants absorb it, and the animals eat the plants. The animals end up with lots of the crystal in their back and bones. Back in the day, the people would hand the crystal dust in the stream. Some would also find the old or sick the animals for it. horrible! As brutal as it sounds, hunting the oldest and weakest creatures keeps the rest of the herd healthy. I suspect they must be processing a lot more animals to keep up with the volume. Still, we should continue to move forward.
Eight. Did that machine just talk? You are disrupting the extraction process. Are you? I am a processing engine for red crystal dust. These animals. Did you kill them? Why? My instructions require the processing of animal tissue to extract red crystal dust. Your presence is decreasing the efficiency of my operation. You must leave immediately. How many does it need to kill exactly? If you continue to decrease the efficiency of my operation, you will be designated a security threat. What happens then, exactly? Efficiency has passed below the security threshold. Entering stealth mode.